So this is my Dell uh, Precision Tower uh, 7910 computer and this is the NVMe 4 slot drive made by Asus. It is called Asus Hyper M.2 X16 card and I already included one uh, 500 gigabytes SSD drive in it and now I'm going to install uh, another one. So far it worked excellently with the first uh, with one card and uh, this project's goal is to find out if it works uh, if it's going to work uh, with the second uh, SSD drive too. This is the card uh, in the, the back side so these are the four screws that uh, I have to uh, remove to be able to install the second NVMe SSD card. So this is the internal section of this card and as seen I already installed one uh, 50 uh, 500 gigabyte uh, NVMe disk into this. Uh, it's very very strange uh, to call this a disk. Actually, this is not really a disk. This is a card. I mean, in a, a memory chip or something like that. Okay, sorry. This is how it looks like. So I'm going to install the second one and then this number here means this 2280 means the dimensions because as seen this is the place where you have to install a screw which is included in the box. And then this is the section with the thermal paste and that's quite straightforward and easy to install. This card has a fan either. The first step is just to in screw in a spacer screw because there are two screws that you should use. First is the spacer and then you will screw in the second one which actually holds the uh, chip, the card in its place. The first step is just simply uh, insert the card into its slot and then first it would look a bit weird because it's elevated, the back part is elevated but actually it's not going to be harmed so it will be screwed back to the spacer. So this is how I uh, install the two uh, SSD cards into this uh, NVMe PCI E, uh, adapter and um, the idea here is that if you have four of these uh, disks then in the Windows system I expect them to be visible as four uh, drives physical hard drives and then eventually I'm going to use Microsoft uh, storage space or storage pool to make them a kind of RAID 0 uh, single logical drive. Uh, since my workstation has two Xenon uh, CPUs I have the option to use these two uh, PCI slots here and then otherwise if you have only one CPU you are, you are not you cannot use these slots. So that's it's important to know. Okay, so the first is when usually I noticed the last time that I pressed F2 actually to bring up the BIOS settings. So I also recognize when I first installed this PCI card, uh, it took some while. Uh, okay, so far so good. So I'm waiting for the BIOS to come up and to see 
if the Dell computer, the 7910, uh, is able to see both of the drives, drives, SSD drives uh, in this NVMe card. Brilliant! Both are visible! Ha ha ha! That's excellent! So this is a clear uh, sign that this uh, computer, so this is the Dell Precision Tower workstation uh, 7910 is able to work. The reason it is important because a number of the uh, motherboards doesn't support this type of card because it uh, requires a kind of function called slot bifurcation or bifurcation I don't know how to say it I don't really understand how it works the idea here is that the uh, 16 uh, this X16 slot is uh, cut into four X4 uh, slots I mean in the, on, on a PCI slot and therefore this is the idea and fortunately this motherboard with this firmware this is the latest firmware a uh, 30 through a a uh, 33 yes let's check out the system information yes a uh, 33 this is the latest one there is an issue unfortunately that on windows after you just start your windows and it doesn't recognize immediately in the disk manager uh, this uh, Drive. Exactly this happened with my first uh, NVMe drive. This is so the so uh, and now the second one is not recognized right away. So that's an issue. So what is the solution? The solution is then just simply start the uh, installation Windows installation. Uh, and then the Windows 10, this is Windows 10, this is when Windows 10 installer will definitely recognize, at least it happened with my first uh, drive. So I was able to uh, format it and use it uh, excellently. So um, now I'm going to exactly the same thing with the second. Uh, second. So therefore Let's just uh, reboot the system and with a USB disk as if I wanted to reinstall my whole mm, entire Windows system. I press F12 right away immediately when I see the Dell logo and this F12 brings up the boot menu. Actually this is not really required since um, my uh, system is configured, the boot sequence is configured that the US, if any USB drive has a bootable system, it will boot it from it automatically. But for this presentation, uh, I pressed F12 to bring up the uh, boot uh, sequence option. Uh, here you go brilliantly so all my drives are visible USB storage device this is where I have uh, my Windows 10 installer this is my SSD uh, which has the Windows um, installation existing one this is a logical volume RAID 0 and then these are the two of my uh, NVMe drives. So let's boot from the USB. Yep, installation. I have a UK keyboard. Next, install now. I'm not going to actually install. Here you go. This is what I was talking about. So these are, let's, let's just start. 
drive 0, drive 0, this is my logical drive, uh, actually in my drive bay of my computer, uh, 0 and 1, uh, combined into one logical drive, uh, RAID 0, and then uh, disk 1, I mean drive 1, is uh, my Yes, this is my uh, SSD drive, Samsung SSD drive. This is where I have uh, my uh, Windows installation. And then drive 2, this is the, my existing NVMe uh, drive. And this is an allo unallocated space. So let's just... Uh, uh, delete for example this, the partial might contain OK. OK, so let's just uh, create a new apply. And new apply. And uh, actually, I'm not really sure if I really, let me just format, even format them. This partition might contain input and OK. So maybe at this point I can simply shut down my computer. I'm not sure if it's if it's a, it's a good idea. Okay, le let me just proceed with the drive free partition and then uh, with the next. Actually what I'm doing is I'm just starting the installation process. And then when Windows is rebooting the system, I'm not going to continue uh, the installation because I have already have an installation uh, in place. Okay, so this is the point uh, when I uh, restart my computer and I remove the USB drive. When Yes, now I remove the USB drive and then uh, after restarting my system is going to work with the regular Windows uh, startup. So what is visible then here that I have the C drive which is my uh, SSD drive, it has the windows, uh, D is just a small partition, F is my first NVMe uh, as seen I just removed. Uh, repartition and then G is the second of this uh, NVMe disks and then this is my virtual machine this is this combined RAID 0 so actually this is the way you can